Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a life system. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a static text box where I can write in life equals. Okay, uh, move that into the right place. I'm then going to create another text box which is going to be dynamic, which is going to show us our life. Um, and I'm going to call that one uh, TXT life. Uh, I'll move that into the right place. Just shorten it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to um, not going to have a board around this one because we don't need one. Um, so that's called TXT Life. Next step, we need to set up a few more functions. Okay, uh, one function is going to be to set the life. Uh, we're going to call this a global as well. So global. Oh, this in this case, uh, we don't need to call it a global. We can just call it set life uh, equals new. Uh, sorry, equals function. Um, and we're going to set up uh, set the life uh, equals uh, we'll give them two lives to start off with and then we're going to update the um, life box okay so we're going to go uh, underscore root oh no, so we just have to go txt life equals life uh, that will show up in our, in our text box that we created um, and just to show that working set Life equal uh, set life. That's the that's the function we're calling. Okay, so when we run it, you can see that we've got two lives at the moment. Okay, next step, we need a func another function which is lose life. So we're going to say uh, global. This has to be global because it's going to be called by a button. So global lose uh, uh, lose life uh, equals function. Um, <coughs> and in this case, we're going to say life equals life minus one. Okay, so it's the current life minus itself uh, minus one from itself. Um, we're then going to update the txt life um, uh, box. So txt life equals life. Okay. So if we lose a life, it's going to minus one from the current life score and then update the box. Um, like all games, if you lose all your lives, we need to we need to reset the game. So we're going to just check. So we're going to use one of these conditional rules again. So if life e is equal to minus one, okay, which means um, you know if if we go below no more lives, then we're going to reset it. So we're going to if life equals minus one, then we go to set um, set life. Uh, and close that down. Okay, uh, close that there. So our global lose life. So what we need to do is we need to go to the button now, and if we lose a life, we call the lose life function. So we go lose life, um, and that should work. So three times fifteen, uh, three times five is fifteen. Just check that it still works. Done. Nine times ninety is uh, nine times ten is ninety. But I'm going to put ninety one should lose a life and we do. Um, doesn't change the question because we don't want it to so I'll have another go. 92 perhaps? No it's incorrect so no more lives. Maybe it's 89. No more lives we get a, um, and our life is re, uh, restored because we drop below zero. Okay. Um, if you want to make it a little bit more interesting we can go back to the actions. Uh, in, the s in the lose life section what we can do is uh, we can say if set the life to um, right in here, trace game over. <coughs> Just give the, uh, the player an idea that he's lost his life, and then reset the life. So nothing, nothing, no more lives left. Incorrect. Three times game over, and the life is reset.